While the GOP is saying it wants to cut trillions in a debt ceiling budget deal, it's also said the debt ceiling must be raised. Do they have any leverage in these talks if the White House knows in the end Republicans will give in? Here to discuss are my freedom fighters, Fox Business Stocks editor and my colleague Elizabeth McDonald, Newsday columnist Ellis Hennigan, and Reason Magazine associate editor Mike Riggs. Emac, uh, why would the Republicans announce at the, at the start of the negotiations they're going to give in on Medicare and yeah. whether or not the debt ceiling is raised? You know, it, it is stunning. And you know what I fear is going to happen is that in the dead of night, just as it happened last time in the dead of night on Christmas Eve, yeah. they're going to raise the debt ceiling in August because we saw already Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner sent a letter to John Boehner saying, look, lo and behold, tax receipts are coming in more than expected. That gives us buying room until August. So you're going to see the debt melodrama play uh, out until August. When John Boehner, Ellis Hannigan, mm -hmm. says something like, we're talking about cuts in trillions, mm -hmm. Is he misleading the public because he's talking about letting the president borrow a trillion between now and October, but asking the president to cut budgets not yet written by a president not yet elected before a Congress only sometime in the future? Well, do you remember about 15 minutes ago he was promising $100 billion in cuts, a puny $100 billion? Couldn't deliver that. What makes anybody think he can well, deliver trillions? Well, neither could the Democrats. I mean, this is the same but, move that the Democrats are pulling, too, that proposing fake spending cuts when they're just talking about the growth in a projected spending. Hennigan. Judge, let me turn this political calculation on its head, because I think all of you will have it exactly well, you're backwards. You're good at turning things on their heads. Go ahead. Here's the threat. The threat isn't that they somehow fold on the debt ceiling. Of course they're going to fold on the debt ceiling. There's no responsible person in this country who thinks we ought to give up and, 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 and let, that, let that go. Well, but, you're but, looking but at the someone who has been arguing that I the debt ceiling should not be increased and we should take the pain you, now I, instead of in and, the future. And, and, and I love you, Judge, but you're on the losing side of this. Let me tell you where the politics lie. Go ahead. That's doing things like dismantling Medicare and turning then it into a what, coupon why did, program. Liz, why, did President Obama, Liz, why did President Obama, ahead, Liz, why did President Obama, why did President Obama, why did Vice President Biden, why did Nancy Pelosi, why did Harry Reid, why did House Minority Whip Steny Hoyer all say, do not raise a debt ceiling uh, under the Bush administration? Well, Look, this is no all change. about but this is all about weighing your interests and checking isn't your principles it, isn't it at just, the door. Isn't it just a political argument? President Obama himself, yes, when he was Senator argument. Obama, voted against yes, raising the debt. Of suit. course it's a political argument. Is but the politics are, you go and do the things that, that Boehner, the Tea Party folks want him to do, you're going to get killed in 2012. No, you is, won't. Killed. No, you won't. Why would the Republicans say at the outset, Mike Riggs, that the debt ceiling has to go up? Does that enhance their credibility with the Democrats or does it show their cards? I mean, I, I think what they've got here is if they're if they're willing to play ball, you know, maybe they can try and get some calls on their side. I'm not sure how, you know, I've, I've heard a lot of people say that it was really dumb of Boehner to say, of course, we're going to raise the debt ceiling. We don't have any other choice. Um, but I, I'm, not, I'm not sure that this is a lose-lose for him. I okay. think he can come out of this. All right. What kind of strings can Boehner possibly expect to be attached to this vote in which Republicans support raising the debt ceiling? L listen, you make an excellent political argument about him showing his hand too early. On the other right. hand, you, your heart's got to go out to the guy. I mean, he's got the I Tea understand, Party. I understand his frustrations. What can he expect to get back from the Democrats, from the president and the vice president, in return for allowing this vote to, to cross his desk? I don't think he's going to get much. He's dreaming if he thinks there's trillions. I, I wonder whether there's hundreds of billions to get. I, don't, I think he's going right. to get peanuts.